G'day, so this is my GPS test video. Um, we're currently going at 104, 505, 106 k's an hour. Um, seems to be working pretty well. I've got the update frequency on this one at 10 updates a second. Delay is currently around 30 to 40 milliseconds is what I've estimated at the measured speed. So it seems to be going very well. Um, direct sunlight. Get the direct sunlight test. It's a bit shallow to see in direct sunlight, but some kind of shielding device like this in yonder and in. Oh, oh well, never mind, I'll get that later. But something like that seems to work for direct sunlight. So, as you can see, the numbers flickering just randomly. We're currently in cruise control mode. Um, Dad, can you? Um, just take it off cruise control just so it'll vary or speed will vary a little just so you can see it change up and down. You can see that going up and down. So that seems to be pretty darn accurate as Dad speeds up. And that's recording the vector true to ground, not uh, taking into account any change in altitude so it's your horizontal vector not your actual true vector and yeah I think that's good enough oh we're going in a tunnel now under a bridge it seems to flicker slightly when it goes under a bridge I'm gonna have to do something about that I'm gonna set a cut off so you can see the tunnel just coming along here flickers down it goes back up well that's much smoother than normal actually Set the chip. Just there we are. Now we're running. And there's a full system reset on our the electronics, and it seems to work pretty well as a reset button. But yeah, I'm impressed with that. That seems to be good enough, and hopefully that should work.